Hi! In this short tutorial, I'll show you how to create a staff directory website with WordPress for free. A staff directory is a database containing detailed profiles of your organization's staff members with custom fields and filters specific to your needs. For the sake of this tutorial, I'll use WordPress, the most popular website builder. HivePress, a free WordPress directory plugin, and Listing Hive, a free WordPress theme for building directory websites. All right, let's begin by installing and activating the Listing Hive theme. You can do this directly from the WordPress dashboard. Go to the Appearance, Themes page. Click on Add New, search for Listing Hive, and then install and activate it. Once you activate the theme, you'll be prompted to install the HivePress plugin, which will power all the directory features on your website. Follow the link and proceed with the installation. After installing, click on the return link and activate HivePress. The next step is to divide your website into categories. For example, you can create several categories corresponding to your company's departments. Let's imagine that we are building a staff directory website for a software company, and we want to create three categories for the following departments, marketing, developers, and human resources. To add a category, go to the dashboard, vendors, categories section. Here you can set a name and description fields. Also you set a parent category, if you want to create a hierarchy of categories. Click on the add category button when finished. You can create as many categories and subcategories as you might need to build an excessive staff directory website. Having finished with categories, move to the next step and create user profile fields. You can create various profile fields to show different details about an employee, like name, email, phone number, and so on. For example, let's create an essential field for every employee's profile, the role field. Go to the vendors, attributes, add new section. Add a title, make this field obligatory by ticking the required box, and allow front-end editing. In the field type, go for a select option. Next, proceed to the search section. By marking this field as filterable, you allow the search for employees by their roles. In the search field type, choose select. Proceed to the display section and configure the following features. Areas, in other words, the place of an employee's profiles, where the role field will be displayed. Let's make it block primary and page primary. Format, it's responsible for the visual display of a field. Here you can define the display format using the available tokens. In our case, let's assign it the following format. Also, you can create category-specific fields, because not every category needs all the attributes. For example, you can make development department employees choose between the seniority options, and in the same way, you can add more different fields. Always finish by clicking the Publish button. As soon as you publish, the Edit Options button will appear in the Editing section. Click on it to add role options to the list. Since we are building a staff directory for a software company, we may need the following role options. Social Media Specialist Content Writer, Brand Strategist, Front End Developer, QA Engineer, Back End Developer, HR Coordinator, Recruitment Specialist, and Training Manager. Also, you can create option hierarchies to allow users to specify more. For example, the Back End Developer role can have several sub options, such as Python Developer, Java Developer, or Ruby Developer. Now let's add a home page to your directory website, the page where all the employees will be displayed. Go to the dashboard, Pages, Add New. Write the page title. Now click on the plus button to add some layout blocks. For example, let's add a vendor's search form and a vendor's block that will display directory members. On the sidebar, you can change the number of columns, and we can choose from 1 to 4. Here we can also choose the number of displayed vendors, it can be whatever number you'll require. Then you can set a specific category for displaying and change the order, random, by registration date, or by name. When you're done, publish the page. In the same way, you can add other pages, let's say for a blog, about us page, etc. 
Now we need to set this page as the front page of our staff directory. Go to the Settings, Reading section, and select the page you created from the drop down list. We also need to go to High Press, Settings, Vendors, and select this page as the Vendors page, so any new staff members can appear there. Let's check what we created. Go to Dashboard and visit your site. Now, here we have staff members, their attributes that we added, and search form. Everything is in the place and looks good, but we can still improve its appearance. To do this, click on the Customize button, and here you can personalize the look and feel of your website. Firstly, let's set a stunning header image. Click Header Image, Add New, and upload your image. Click Publish. Looks great. However, let's go through other settings to improve our site's design even more. In the site identity, you can set the website logo. Let's upload one. Here you can also edit the site's title and tagline, copyright notice, and set the site's icon, the one that you see in browser tabs. Don't forget to publish. In the colors section, you can adjust primary and secondary colors to match your site perfectly. In the menus section, you can customize menus within the available website areas, like adding a blog page to the header, or a bodice page to the footer. But we'll return to it in the next step, and I'll show you how to add an item menu, essential for the staff directory. The widgets section allows you to add custom widgets to the available site area. They are optional. In the home page settings, you can set your home page and posts page. As you remember, we have already set the home page. Next, you can select your preferred fonts here. Finally, here's an additional CSS section where you can keep custom code snippets to adjust the website style. Just to note, we have a collection of PHP and CSS snippets for Hive Press. The link will be in the description. And that's it for the customization. But there are several important things left to do for our staff directory. By default, to become a vendor and have your own user profile, you need to add at least one listing. But you can also enable direct vendor registration to register as a vendor immediately. Since it's a staff directory, go to the High Press, Settings, Vendor section and allow direct registration for new staff members. Finally, we need to return to this listing section and uncheck the submission option to disable external listing submissions. Save the changes. Now, when we return to our site, the Add Listing button is no longer here. But we need to add a registration link to the main menu. You'll definitely need one on your website so employees can follow it to list their profiles. To add it, we'll return to the customization page and visit the menu section. Click Create New Menu, type in the name, and assign it to Header. Then click Add Items, Custom Links, and fill in the URL field using the following link structure, your domain, slash, register vendor. Name your link and click Add to Menu. In the same way, you can add a blog page, an About Us page, and so on. OK, now let's extend your website functionality. To do this, go to HivePress, Extensions, and here is a list of all the HivePress extensions that you can use to extend the functionality of your staff directory. For example, you can install messages, which allow employees to communicate with one another on your website. Social links, which allow users to add social links like LinkedIn or Facebook to their profiles. Geolocation, this feature can come in handy if your company has multiple offices in different places. It adds a map to your website and enables the search for employees by location. Finally, let's try to register a new member profile and do it from the front end to get a better idea of how it works for users. Let's do it from the incognito mode. Visit your site. 
Now click on List to Profile link, then click on the Register button. Upload the profile image, type a name, then fill in the profile fields, including the custom fields that you previously added. Now let's take a look at the home page and the new layout we've designed. Visit your website and check out the search form and the list of staff members. You can also try filtering staff members by their job titles or department using the search form. As you can see, each staff member is displayed with the job title and department details, and the directory provides a convenient way to find staff members based on specific criteria. However, when we visit our employee's profile, its design doesn't really look professional. Let's customize it as well. To do this, we'll use HivePress Templates feature. Go to Dashboard, HivePress Templates, click Add New. Name it Vendor, select the Vendor Template in the Settings tab, then Publish. Now let's arrange blocks display on the vendor's profile. For example, let's do it in the following way, but you can arrange it differently to match your website style. Okay, now let's visit the employees page once again and see how it looks. Well, now it definitely looks better. And that's how it works, and that's all for today. If you want to create a staff directory using WordPress, keep in mind that you can build it easily with listing Hive theme and the Hive Press plugin. Both are free, lightweight, and suitable for building any type of directory website. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or you can follow the link in the description to learn more about Hive Press, its themes, and extensions. Have a great day!